Hello everybody, just a quick little update on what I've been working on. Um, you might have seen earlier a demonstration that I had made featuring this board, which is the TTL video board that I use, uh, that I uh, built based off of David L. Heiserman's TTL video board schematics from his book, How to Design and Build Your Own Custom TV Games from 1978. Uh, I built that. Um, worked out the kinks, uh, fixed the errors that were in the schematics, and uh, I made that work. And uh, you might have noticed before that I, I made a little uh, a game where you can uh, just manipulate a little white square and move that around the screen on uh, the, the you know the two axes. Um, and I've also made a tag game, which I would like to do a little bit, uh, a, a bit more of a deep dive into. Um, hopefully you'll see that on my, uh, website, memorymachinepod.com very soon. Uh, but between the, those times, uh, after I got to doing the tag one, I got right away working on this one, which is upside down over here, but you'll see it is titled Stormtrooper Attack. And, uh, it's sort of a primitive Space Invaders clone, albeit released, um, Yes, at least the book was published a few months before Space Invaders North American release. So this is something I've been working on for a while now. It's been really um, driving me nuts because uh, there are a lot of mistakes in these schematics, and some of them are pretty big ones. And uh, I'm not, uh, I'm no wonderkind when it comes to uh, DIY electronics. But uh, through sheer willpower of force, a lot of reading and a lot of tinkering, I got this sucker to work. Um, you can see down here, I had to do a little uh, bodge circuit board things there to fix something and add a timer circuit because it wasn't behaving how it was mentioned in the in the book. And uh, there's another whoop, the ribbon cables there. You can see another one there too. Um, that's a timer to change how fast the stormtroopers move down the screen. And uh, there's the little controls. Obviously, I don't have anything that's, you know, all that um, fancy yet. But I, but I have some nice uh, potentiometer knobs and things like that. that I, and arcade buttons that, that I can use. Uh, this green button here starts the game. Red one fires. And the potentiometer, of course, moves your little guy. So I'll just give you a short demonstration of what it does. So you do this here, and then you go in there right away. Oh, here they got me. Uh, but you saw that after a short split second, they fired. That's on the basis of one of the timers on the board. Um, it waits for just like a, a half a second, and then they fire at you. So you got to move out of the way. Ideally, you're supposed to be able to move in between them, but uh, I think I made my little guy a bit too wide. I can change that by changing... Uh, C2 right there. So I can make that a lower capacitance and he'll be smaller. Uh, but let's see if we can uh, zap a few of these guys. You can see here, that's my shot. And uh, let's try a little bit. Let's see if we can get. There we go. Got a couple. Get them. Get them. Get them. Oh, they got me. But yeah, there you go. Let's do it one more time just for completionist's sake there. Let's move him over just a little bit. And there we go. Let's see if we can zap a couple of these guys. Oh, there's a couple. Oh, oh they got me again. We'll try one more time. Oh. Yeah. But anyway, there you go. That Stormtrooper attack. It is finished. And at some point, I'd like to also add some scoring and some sound to this sucker as well. So uh, thanks for listening to the rambling. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll be back with another video. Uh, detailing the tag game and have an accompanying article for that. So thank you all for watching.